It is time for the press box. I'm Larry. She is Mary. Let's go. Did you bring the popcorn? I'm hungry. Yeah, let me get it. <laughs> okay, maybe not. The Spurs <laughs> will play two regular season games in Paris in January 2025. This is an obvious fit because of Wimby and Sissoko. So, Mary, how cool is this for the Spurs and Victor Wimbanyama? It's awesome for the Spurs, awesome for Wemby, but even better for the growing of basketball in Europe. Wemby has talked about how much basketball has grown in his home country and really how much of an impact that had on him yeah. and how much it's going to have an impact and continue having an impact on the NBA. He talked recently on a podcast about, um, like, right now, America, the, the NBA is put on notice of how talented the basketball is in France. So it'll be cool to see. I mean, the Spurs have played in Paris. Mm -hmm. Maybe that had an impact on Wemby somehow. I know, right? Know? And what I'm looking forward to is seeing perhaps Boris Diaw, Tony Parker, some of those guys there. It's going to be such a great time. All right, the Dallas Cowboys signed Ezekiel Elliott to a one-year deal worth up to $3 million with incentives. Mary, should he be running back number one, or does he need to beat out guys like Rico Dowdle, Deuce Vaughn, and Royce Freeman? I can't wait for this position battle at Cowboys training camp because – Last year, the Cowboys were really deep as far as offensive production went, mm -hmm. and I do think Zeke has plenty to prove, but also um, he has an IQ for the game that no one else can really beat. It's just a matter of who's going to emerge if they potentially took that number one spot. Yeah, and I think they're going to do probably more like a running back by committee type of thing. I mean, yeah. Zeke still has to go prove himself. He is no longer the number one back he used to be, so he has to go up there and play some good ball. Agreed. Former Houston Texans star J.J. Watt is leaving the door open to rejoin the Texans. Watt said he's already talked about this with head coach D'Amico Ryans and said he will come back if absolutely needed. Mary, do you want to see J.J. Return to the Texans. I would like. I would love to see it. Of course, <laughs> that's just like awesome history. That would be an insane moment situation. <clears throat> but what would that situation be? Right. You know, the Texans have what they need right now. So I, I like the fact that it's a story. But I don't really imagine a situation that happening. Oh man, I want to see <laughs> JJ come back. He's 35 years old, a year out of the league. He's in fantastic shape. So we know he can join the Texans and probably do them some good. Congratulations to all of our area high school student athletes who showed out at the UIL track and field state meet in Austin. Mary, you were there Friday to see Elizabeth Chapman, Leachman, pardon me, win the 3200 on a bad hammy. What impresses you the most about this young lady? Absolutely her mentality. There's a lot of athletes right across the board that are just talented, mm -hmm. but when they also have mastered that mentality of um, being able to, to not focus as much on the winnings or, or the product, more so just enjoying and believing in the process. And that's what Leachman is all about. She always says, I, I didn't really go out there with the, with the idea of crossing the finish line yeah. first. I just ran. And that's what she does because she has the mentality of a monster. I love how poised Leachman is for her age. It is awesome to see. And that's going to do it for the Press Box. All right, time now to hit the road.